What's going on? This is the Ask a Swim Pro Show. We are in Hangzhou, China at the FINA World Championships. I'm joined by a special guest. We have Vlad Morozov in the house. Welcome to China. How are you doing? Good, good. Just got here last night, pretty jet lagged, but fighting the jet lag and swimming. All right, so we're here at the Short Course World Championships. Uh, you've competed in these FINA Championships before. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, well, the racing, of course, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting because it's a full lineup. Uh, a lot of, I think all of the sprinters are here, the fastest mm -hmm. sprinters. Uh, the relays are going to be stacked like two years ago, the World Championships. We won all of the men's relays. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a, a tough thing to do here, but we're, we're going to do our best. Awesome. And tell me about the difference between the, the short course worlds and, and the long course competition. Uh, the pool. Yeah, tell me about <laughs> the pool. The pool's different. Okay, okay. Uh, no, uh, short course, I mean, of course, it's different swimming. You have to have a different set of skills. Uh, the turns on underwater, mm. uh, which I'm better at rather than long course, but long course is the Olympic pool, so that's that's where it's going to matter for the Tokyo mm -hmm. Olympics, so we'll see. Cool. And so if we if we rewind a little bit, you've competed at USC. Uh, mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about that. You know, what was it like competing in the NCAA system, uh, NCAA it was, championships? It was awesome. It was definitely something special, you know, because you can get that kind of experience in the age group or in your professional mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Uh, but we had, we had an awesome team, you know, all those relays, all the hype at the NCAAs. Yeah. And fast swimming, of course, you know, you can't repeat that. You can only go through that once. And yeah. I still look back on those years. It brings me good memories. Right on. And so <clears throat> post-college, post-NCAAs, you're now a professional athlete. Uh, what's it been like to experience the sport of swimming through the professional lens and work with awesome brands like Madwave? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, the last three years I've been going to World, uh, World Cups and just traveling the world, you know, seeing everything, living in the nice spots, uh, racing all of the fastest swimmers in the world. And, you know, companies like Madwave support me. And yeah. I mean, it's awesome. It's my dream uh, what, what, where I wanted to be since I was very young and I'm here. Just living the dream. And uh, what advice do you have for, you know, swimmers who are looking to take that next step, even if it's not at the Olympic professional level, but they're just trying to reach their next their next goal? I think be consistent, you know, uh, don't think about the goals too much, the times too much. Just think about the details uh, that you can think of every day, mm. you know, focus on I don't know how to even describe it. <laughs> yeah, focus on the details. Uh, focus on the details and have fun, I guess. Have yeah. fun is the easiest way to describe have it. Have fun, have fun. Let's let's <clears throat> rewind again. The World Cup you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So you've been tearing it up. <laughs> Talk about what it's like to go and I've and I've I've seen you do it. It's <clears throat> it's impressive. So what what's it like going race to race, different disciplines? Are you doing the fifty free, hundred breast, I am like you're doing everything. What's it like doing all that? Uh, it's fun, yeah. Of course, it's a lot of racing and yeah. with a little break. Uh, sometimes you get like 10 minutes of break between each race and they have to get on the blocks again. But it's fun for me to, again, think about all the different strokes, the details, the turns, you know. Mm. Yeah, I do what I love and it works. Awesome. Okay, so uh, normally when we do Ask a Swim Pro show, I have a lot of international guests and I ask them to sort of do that advice question mm -hmm. in their native language. And so, uh, if you'd like, you know, maybe what advice do you have to swimmers um, back home and, you know, how can they aspire to achieve that next level? То же самое, что я сказал, фокусироваться на не на времени, не на какой-то задаче, а именно думать о деталях и думать о процессе изо дня в день, что-то новое находив в тренировках, какие-то детали, которые заставляют меня думать о процессе, а не о каких-то целях. Awesome. And uh, with that, we will well, actually, first of all, can you translate? <laughs> give, us, give us like a one sentence summary of roughly what you Oh, pretty much is the same thing. Uh, think about the process rather than the goals and enjoy the process from day to day. And with that, we wish you best of luck here in Hangzhou Thank at the you. Short Course World Championships. Uh, you heard it from the man, sprinting legend Vlad Morozov. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.